I was very surprised that he did that. Yeah, I was surprised because I wasn't one for throwing S pens down the straight. And when I see people do that, I think it's pretty nasty. It's mm. not necessary. You know, when you you know you can push people wide, you can close the gap. I've always been one for leaving people enough room to get themselves out of trouble. But hopefully they'll lose 15 yards, not taking them all the way and mm. over the top. And some people do that. You know, mm. you've seen yourself. Yeah, some yeah, people, yeah. no mercy and. Uh, but Pennell did that to me, and if I'd have lost it there, mate, I would have really hurt myself, you know, mm. that was would have been nasty. But anyway, I saw Red, and that took me a lap and a half to catch him up, mate, and then if you remember, I came under so him, and I pointed at him and took his leg away, and he was yeah. all like that, and hanging down, and that was purely because of what he'd done to me, and from that moment yeah. onwards, mate, I was on yeah. the mission, you know, and, and that spurred mm. me on. Nothing caused the problems other than me doing what I did. And they put a roadblock up and got me. By now we're down at Leicester and they've run me off the road. And of course I had a bit of cannabis in the glove compartment. And when I say a bit of cannabis, I'm talking like a bit of cannabis the size of that. And a pipe, and of course that's it, mate. Straight away, they took me off. <coughs> they knew who I was. They thought I'd nick the car to start off with, so that's why they pulled me and then they found that, they took me off. I've explained the situation, I'm on my way home, I'm racing at Halifax, they got me through in half an hour and processed it, great, but I'm charged with cannabis, which is in the press. Uh, I've got home and I've got back to Halifax that night. You rode Halifax? Yeah, I got back yeah. to Halifax that night, yeah, actually made it back. Um, but yeah, that was then the beginning of, uh, obviously a lot of pressure because you know, I had a court case come up with the cannabis and the press knew about it and it was all in the press and everyone's pointing the finger at me and, you know, they're all saying that's why it's all going wrong. Well, that was nothing to do with it going wrong at all. You know, I don't care what anyone says, that was nothing to do with it going wrong. The drugs weren't a problem. The drugs became, they didn't even become a problem, you know, the only problem was I could never score them sometimes. <laughs> what can I say? No, but the drugs weren't a problem. And it was like, there, it was my attitude towards the authorities who I felt were now starting to penalise me mm. for things that mm. they should be helping mm. and encouraging. I wanted to be outside of the Speedway. Yeah. I wanted an, you were looking like, things. I wanted an outlet from Speedway, probably, mm. yeah, because everything I'd done from 14 years old mm. was totally Speedway, mm. Speedway, Speedway, mate. Yeah. And maybe that was the biggest mistake for me, you know. And people say, well, you know, I bet you wish you'd gone on longer. And to be honest, I, I've never, if I do think about it, it doesn't worry me because, yeah, yeah I could have gone on longer, but I, mean, I wouldn't change a thing. You know, people say about the prison side of things and everything that happened, mate. It, life has been a big experience, that's all I can say. And I said this to my dad the other night, he came over for a barbie, yeah. and even he wanted me to say, well, surely you feel, you know, you've you changed some about. things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I said, no, I wouldn't change a thing. It's yeah. been a bloody big experience. But how can you look back and, uh, and having to spend the time in prison and, and, and get anything from that? What did, what did you take from that? And what you was learn, it? You learn about society. What did you, how long did you spend you learn in, in, in prison? What was it? 18 months. What, Actually, what, 18 months in prison. What year was that like? 98 <laughs> till 2000, just before Christmas. Actually, I mean, I've done more time in prison because I've had two other sentences as well. Never pushed drugs. I wasn't a, someone going out pushing it to people no. that didn't want it. Was, it. Yeah. it was people yeah. that I knew that were that would have if it hadn't come from me, it would have come from someone else. Mm. It wasn't like I was going. It was like people that had enough knowledge to yeah. know what they were doing. Yeah. And it was cannabis. Uh, yeah, cannabis. Yeah. But uh, you know, obviously, I became fairly heavy as well because to get caught with it. I mean, I got caught with fifteen kilos of hash and and two hundred and. 64 plants that was my life yeah. you know it's like if i did something as i did with speedway it was mm. full on mate and mm. then suddenly it's like oh bugger that we'll do yeah. this then and yeah i went full on into that and mistake or not it was a big experience in life and it saw me through a certain part of life and i'm you think was a low point for you the lowest point my lowest point was when they gave me the five year ban mate well in life and compared to the problems you went through with prison and that as well no that wasn't a problem no. My really? lowest point uh, and what finished my career in Speedway was the day they dished me up the five year ban, mate. And the day, probably that and the day I went back on appeal 
and, and they found me innocent of the charges, but still kept me banned for a year. I went up there, mate, and I was very abusive, yes. Didn't hit him, but I was quite aggressive, shall you're not, say. You're not striking I laid him. a hand on him, because he ruined my career, mate, yeah. by lying. Total, yeah. utter lies, Did he tell the lies, court that you, you physically attacked him? Absolute lies to me. Is the best speedway rider of all time. And I know that sounds strange because you look back and Ovi fundings, and I have full respect for all those people, mate. But if you want to ask me who the person that I admire the most and, and feel has done the most for speedway and probably achieved the most, I will say it's like me. Neither of us wanted to bloody be beaten, you know, and it was like a battle every mm. time. He would rather both lose the battle than you win it. He'll take himself out with you, mm. you know, to a pair of you. Stop, you, stop, you, winning. stop you winning it. Yeah, you winning it, it was quite it. scary, mate. Did you respect him, though, what he was trying to do? No, because I knew how dangerous he was, you know, in, in every way. Would you say he was a good rider, though? He was a hard rider. He was hard. You know, he did what he had to do to win. I don't know, you know, yeah, it, yeah, he could ride a bike. I mean, you don't go that fast without mm. being able to ride the bike, but... I didn't like the way he did it sometimes. I mean, it's like no one's going to win everything. Kind of went from there, and then her dad went, You ain't going near him, he's the biggest pothead in East Anglia. And that's like, like their old man, man, mate. Yeah, yeah, it was like, freak me out. People say, would I change things? And I get asked this question one hell of a lot, I can assure you. Um, I've had a lot of experiences in life, and um, overall, I think I've learnt a lot through some of the things I've done, which, you know, is, is a good thing. Some, some things good, some things bad. But you have to do these things to experience and learn about life. Overall, I feel that if I did have my time again, not that much would change, you know, I've made mistakes, but everyone makes mistakes, and mistakes are what you learn from, and, you know, I'm not saying I'm proud of some of the things that I've done, but they've given me a good insight into general life, and...